going to go on to our next item, which is the battery work. Okay. Hi, Hawaii. I don't have a video or cool uh, <laughs> name like that. So might be a little bit of downer here, but uh, my name is Joe Devlin. I'm a lawyer with offices in Boston and Newburyport. I uh, represent Battery Wharf. Some of you might remember me from last August and September when we were here. With me is Peter Sulo, who's the general manager of the Battery Wharf. Last August or September, we were here to get a uh, live entertainment on the certificate of inspection. And we had to go to the ZBA for that. The Mayor's Office of Consumer Affairs requires that now to get your live entertainment license. The certificate of inspection has to say live entertainment. So uh, we were here, I think September, it was a unanimous vote in support. It took us all the way till the end of December to actually get the decision back so that we could file the entertainment license. Uh, subsequent to that meeting, um, the uh, Battery Wharf got plans approved and they got um, funding approved to outfit some of the space that's empty in building number two. Uh, my cheat sheet um, to to uh, on the second floor into a multifunction event room. Um, as you probably all know, the prior developer owner and <coughs> the Battery Ward, the current Westmont, and uh, has been getting pressure to fill those spaces. We've got a lot of inquiries, but it's mostly from kind of intense uses like restaurants and bars. Um, this was a way that they thought was a little less intense use. Uh, it's not every day they, they envision that there'll be um, uh, mostly corporate executive meetings there. There will be some weddings and bar mitzvahs. But uh, when I said to Peter, I said, you know, how much are you going to fill this up? And, and I said, you know, two thirds of the time. And he said, I'd be having a banner year if that happened. I'd be G GM of the year. So they've got seven. Uh, weddings scheduled for their main ballrooms for 2017 right now, so to give you an idea. Um, so we were here just for the normal operations in September. We were going to have, uh, actually we were dropping one of the buildings at the request of uh, the O'Connells from uh, Burroughs Wharf. Um, they have instruments in uh, the lobby uh, at the hotel and um, the, in the two underground ballrooms. Um, so now we're back though, the, the application has this new room on the second floor. So that's the only difference from what we were talking about in September. Um, that building is covered by a liquor license, so it also necessitates filing what we call an alteration of license premise to show the new setup. Um, Battery Wharf met with the residents in, in November and gave them a presentation. They've had some continuing conversations. Uh, Ralph Ernie is here today, also another resident is with him. Um, we met with the ZLC, um, nobody came. Um, so we're here to answer any questions we might have and uh, I think it's going to be a good addition and it's going to mix well with the luxury hotel, the residential uses and the retail uses around there. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions? Um, yes. Hi, uh, Teresa O'Connell, uh, Lincoln Walk. There you are. I'm it's sorry, Teresa. I, 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 I was looking for Lincoln. you too. I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, two concerns. Um, if you're having functions at both, obviously there's a lot more cars that will be coming. Will that be handled downstairs um, at Battery or at Battery? Would they be valeting somewhere else? It would be valet at the Battery Wharf. Okay. And the balcony on the second floor that it's adjacent to is public access. How will that impact the public access? That it does not impact it at all. The two doors that you access the balcony are still public access. So they're actually outside of where the ballroom will be. So you still come up the elevator or the staircase. So the public can actually go up and actually look in the windows as people having a function. They could. Yeah, if they want to. I would hope they wouldn't want to look at a wedding no, while it's going on. But it's like, <laughs> and will those people have access outside or not? 
it, they would have access to go outside, but because the doors, we purposely put the doors outside of the ballroom, we don't expect a heavy usage of people going outside. Again, it is open to the public, so they could go out there, but it's not part of the ballroom. You're going to make that clear with uh, their guests. <coughs> and you will be taking Building 5 off of the, the zoning from the last time? Yes. It was supposed to be 2-3, and it ended up being 2-5. Uh, yes, and the plans that are being submitted, I call it the O'Connell uh, plan. The, Sorry. No, <laughs> that's part of the application. I also, when I emailed with your husband, the forms are imperfect at the entertainment board. You know, the liquor license has a description of license premise. It's easier to write something in. So the, at, I sent your husband the paid copy of page three that we changed it, and we identified specifically where live entertainment would be, building two, uh, building three, and between in the underground ballroom between two and, and uh, but three. But not the biggest lounge, building five. Right. Great. Right. Thank you. Any any other questions? Uh, Victor? Yes, this is a ZLC question. The earlier uh, licenses specified no outdoor live entertainment. Uh, when we write our letter, can we say that there is agreement Absolutely. that that will be carried through? That was the other, system? what it was, Attorney Sabi, uh, who was in Lincoln more of that too as well. That was his initial, back in the su last summer, that was his initial question. Yes, no live entertainment, you put it in the letter. No outdoor. Outside, no outside live entertainment, correct. Okay. Um, anyone have any uh, Just quick, yeah. the windows up there, do they actually open? No, they do not. Okay. okay. Uh, comments from a Butters. Uh, I, I just have a question. Jack, say two battery walk. Uh, is there a time frame that, that the bands would stop at at night? I mean, typical weddings go to 11.30 midnight, so typical last call is 11.45, so the bands, I would say, at 11.30 is typically your latest time so, of wedding. So that would be put into the permit yeah, somewhere that, that yeah. you know, it wouldn't be... We get the exact times on there, but that's typical of a wedding, is 11.30 is usually the latest. And you would... Yes. Oh, sorry, Rob, go ahead. Rob Fernie, uh, been a resident of Battery Wharf since, uh, well, nine years. And I'm also a member of NURA and president of the Residential Association. We've spent a lot of time with Westmont on this. Um, I personally have met with the architects and, and toured it recently to see the noise abatement and uh, insult, uh, you know, issues like you just said about the windows and so on. And uh, we're optimistic it's going to operate and be successful, which is important for the health of the property but also not cause any disturbance for residents in that building or the adjacent buildings. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, any other comments or can, uh, can I get a motion to? It's a supporter, not supporter. Okay, second. Okay. <laughs> Ballot number two. Yeah. Have the results of our vote. Oh, did you like and they are. Oh, 32 for the three opposed. Yay! Yay.